Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I'm doing some early morning gigging. I'm at Walmart. I woke up at 7.30. I, it is now 7.45. Quick shower. Like Superman, I changed, and I'm right here. Um, it is a $16 order, and it is like 80 items. It's, it's not the greatest order, but I wanted to take it to keep my acceptance rate up. My acceptance rate is like 80% right now. Sometimes you just miss them on accident. Um, so that's kind of how that goes. It's not that I don't take too many or skip some orders because I know I want to keep my acceptance rate up. But the way I'm looking at today is work hard, play hard. Um, it's pretty clear I'm a part-time waiter at this point and it's pretty clear I'm a part-time gig worker. Um, this used to be a lot of my extra income when I was waiting tables five days a week, but now the restaurant's not even open five days a week. It's open four and I've had a lot of Tuesdays off. I can't complain about days off. I have today off from waiting tables because it's closed on Wednesdays. Um, but that's fine. It's like I'm working like three doubles almost. So I'll do a little bit today. I'll try to make a hundred on Thursday and work a double tomorrow with waiting tables. Same thing on Friday. I'll do a lot of gigs and go to some garage sales, same thing on Saturday, and God forbid I need to on Sunday, I'll do it also. And I'll get to where I need to be. I remember when I had no time off, we had no days off during the summer, five days a week, um, just short staffed over COVID and stuff. And you know, some of the people who would work there part-time would have weeks vacations and stuff. And I'd be like, I wouldn't even know what to do with that time. Well, now I have that time. And I feel time is more important than money so I wanna guard my time. So I'm, I'm in a happy spot, I'm in a good balance, I'm doing what I gotta do. I'll be out here gigging today, it's supposed to be like 95 out today. My little nephews are coming over and my sister and they're gonna swim. I gotta be careful because I got burnt yesterday. Um, I'd like to do some stairs. I had great weight loss update yesterday, but um, I went up instead of down on July 4th. There was s'mores, there was brownies, there was hot dogs, there was chips and dip. Uh, there was duck jalapeno poppers, which I had one. I don't even eat duck that much. But I'm doing what I got to do. I'm going to behave today. I'm going to exercise. I want to do some yoga. I want to practice some stretches. I'm very much a beginner at that. I'm a little nervous about documenting those stretches, but I'm ready. I'm not happy with what I ate yesterday. But it was a holiday. So scratch it. It's behind us. Just like a shooter who misses his last shot or you gotta keep shooting, right? So today's another day. Today's a day to be, to be free, to be great, to be happy, to be joyful, to be the best version of myself and to have the best day ever. Why not? We don't get a million of these days. Um, July 5th, 2023 is never coming again. So let's make the best of it. The ball is rolling. That was not the greatest $16 order of all time. I had to go up a flight of stairs like eight times, but you know what? I kind of needed it after yesterday's uh, snack attack. So um, as soon as I finished, another Walmart Spark order popped up for 23 bucks. I'm just going back to grab it right now. That's going to get me at $39. Um, it's 825. Like I said, I woke up at 730 and I'm at... $39. It's crazy. Um, sign up for Spark. Description below. What's up, guys? Just got back to Walmart. My wife just texted. We had a 38% savings rate for June 2023. My goal is 50%. Sometimes we hit it, sometimes we don't. Um, and we had to pay for a lot of things, a weed whacker, a edger. We had some oven issues, we paid for Father's Day dinner out, which was a little um, fancy pool chemicals, Lake George vacation. So we we're still able to put a good amount of money away. 38%, um, I'm overall pretty happy with that considering where we've come from. So I just wanted to check in with that. 
I'm just waiting on picking up this $23 order that again is gonna get me to about 39 for the day. I'm excited to see where this day takes me. I got some items to box up and ship out. I hit the thrift store, get some suntan lotion on, do what I gotta do. Okay, no sooner than I dropped off that order, another $14, $15 actually, $14.90 order popped right up. I'm going back to Walmart. That will get me to $49.53 in about an hour and a half. Let's do it. <clears throat> hey, what's up guys? I'm in the middle of this apartment complex. As you can see, no roads. Um, I could have parked a couple steps closer and I think I'm actually gonna, but this just proves the fact that I need to get a like grocery bag, wagon, wheelbarrow type of thing. Uh, so I don't have to make 25 trips into the middle of an apartment complex with no uh, roads leading to the building. So that's something I'm gonna check on Amazon for and uh, I'll try to leave a link below. So on my second trip, I had to stop halfway and set down one of the 24 packs of Mountain Dew. Flustered for a moment, but this is my exercise for the day. I'm getting paid to be outside without a cloud in the sky. Getting some exercise in. And I'm gonna buy a car. Okay, I'm doing my third trip back. You guys are keeping me company. Um, the trip back's always a lot more fun. Empty handed. Just thinking to myself, it's all fun and games now, but you know, when it's freezing and it's pouring, it's a totally different story. So just another reason to grab um, a wagon. But only a couple more trips. I'm at 53 bucks at the moment. Boy, I'd love to get a $20 order the second I mark this one complete. Okay, back at Walmart. Um, and I got another massive order for not a lot of money. Um, 13 bucks, this is like almost 100 items. It's another apartment slash hotel. That's all it's been today. And this one, so that's gonna mean a bunch of trips. Um, I'm at $63-ish, no, like 66, $67 just by 10 a.m. I can't really argue with that. I mean, in the scheme of things, it's not so bad. Um, I was dripping sweat. I got in the car, blasted some AC. What would be a little awkward is if I was going into Wegmans right now, if I was multi-apping, um, I wouldn't want to necessarily go into Wegmans with my shirt soaked through and my face dripping wet from sweat. But I was able to uh, get into a little AC time. So I'm just gonna bring this order. It's gonna get me to about 67 bucks by 10 a.m. I think that's amazing. I think that's freedom, you know, doing what I want to do saving the money that I want to save, getting some cardio in, getting some lifting in with these heavy orders and uh, making the best of it. It's at 10, the thrift store opens. So perhaps I'll hit the thrift store on the way back, see what goodies I can find, maybe stop home, grab my items to ship out and keep this day rolling. Maybe I'll try to get a hundred today. We'll see what happens. <music> Okay, it is about 10.30. I just picked up a $25 order. Finally, an order with a tip. Um, I have a 15 minute buffer before I have to get it, so I just arrived at the thrift store. The last two orders I did were huge orders with no tips. Um, the last order was smelly. 
was an apartment. It smelled like cat. There were cigarette butts all over the staircase. I had to go inside and drop it. That's one of my least favorite things to do. But this order is, this $25 order, funny enough, is from one of the richest guys in town. Um, I know who it is and have a general idea of where he lives. It's funny how you get both, uh, both ends of the spectrum on that one. So I'm gonna run into the thrift store. Um, I've made $91 in three hours. I'll take it. Um, cracked a little sweat, broke a little sweat, I should say. Got to be outside. And I'm going to make 100 tomorrow also, and that's going to be $200 this week before I start waiting tables Thursday night. I'll wait tables Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Pretty cool how your phone just gives you money. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had a little bit of a mix-up. I get to the thrift store. I think I left my wallet at home. Nuts. So I run home and... Freshen up for a second, try to get my shipping boxes together, and my computer takes a long time to start up my laptop. So I didn't even have time to do that. So then I look to see where my wallet is. My wallet's in the car, I realize. Ah, oh, nuts. Wasted trip. Go to the store, get the order, drop it off. Come back home now to get my boxes for real. Just got a $17 order that will get me to about 108 for the day before noon. Boy, if I could do that every day. That's pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to come home, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy some family time, do some yard work, maybe make another video. I got some great final hauls in my June 2023 uh, side hustle income report I want to get out and got lots that I want to do and I want to make today the best day ever. And I hope you are too. You know, I put myself in a position for these side hustles to kind of be my income. But before I did, this was my additional income and it helped to pay down debt and it helped me to get to this point of freedom and I hope you find that point too. Break free. <music> Try to change my way 